going to go over number five and six. For number five, it looks like, if I look at the coefficients and the variables, it looks like the greatest common factor here is nine. So since it's the greatest common factor, I create parentheses. So I have x squared left, and then 81, negative 81 divided by nine gives me negative nine. This is a difference of squares, so my factored form is going to be two to my nine, x plus three, x minus three, because the square root of x squared is x, and the square root of nine is three, and since it's special, the difference of squares is plus or minus. So I know my zero center x is equal to plus or minus three. In other words, x is equal to negative three, and x is equal to positive three. For six, again, I look here and I see the greatest common factor here. It looks like eight goes into each one of these. I have eight as my greatest common factor. Then what I have left is eight squared minus two x, because negative 16 divided by eight is negative two, minus eight, because negative 64 divided by eight is negative eight. Let's see if I can factor this more. So I have x in my first term, and negative four times positive two equals negative eight, and negative four plus positive two gives me negative two. So my zeros are x equals four, or x equals negative two. 